San Francisco is Bear Territory with Cal Football at AT&T Park this fall. Presented by Bank of the West. Don't miss this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to cheer on the Golden Bears in the city by the bay. Join Cal Football with season tickets and enjoy great benefits, including a guaranteed ticket for the highly anticipated matchup against the USC Trojans or buy individual game tickets for all home games. Call 800-GO-BEARS or visit calbears.com to get your tickets today. A sellout at one of the most fan-friendly spots in all of sports. The beautiful ballpark by the bay. San Fran's baseball paradise, AT&T Park, overflowing with Cal football fans, making the Zeppel Bowl a de facto home game. Takes on one of the most talented teams from the Pac-10, the Cal Golden Bears. And with their campus just 12 miles away, over the bridge, the sea of blue and gold. What a reception for the Cal Bang Trang's coming back today, baby. One last, on, one last stop. We got some big boys up front. I'm about to smash them. Smash them, dog. This is my last game. I don't care about my body. Bah! Oh, I can't wait for that. Nothing lateral. We go downhill and smash them dudes in the mouth. JB. Best game of the season right here. Best game of the season. Dominate these dudes. Run all over them on national television. Time to bring that pain train, baby! Time to bring that pain train, baby! Let's go! Woo! Woo! Flanked by Javid Best. Long short. He's got Tucker this time. And here goes the red Tucker. It is a foot race. Touchdown, Cal! 76 yards! Uh, Nate Longshore put the ball on the money. He got it behind the short guy and in front of the deep guy in the in the zone they were playing. Two safeties deep, corners up. He got it right in between them, right on time. And then Tucker out. Rolling in, Rutherford's down at the two-yard line. The California ball, first down and goal on the two-yard line. And second and goal. Best remains as the lone back. Gets the pitch and easily into the end zone. So Javid Best cleans it up after the review of the big play to Tucker. And Best scores from a yard out. Yeah, not a lot to this, but a nice block on the edge by their fullback. Tyson Alu Alu right there. He does a nice job of getting the block there. Will Tao full. I'm sorry about that. Not Tyson Alu Alu. But 23. Tao Foa is out there. Great block on the edge. Makes it easy. What an entertaining one that was with West Virginia and NC playing a great game. Ja'Cory Harris trying to get free and unable to do so. Zach Follett. With the sack. Hey, what do you say pregame? It's my last game. I don't care about my body. I'm laying it out there. Well, Zach Follett is just an impressive guy. Speed rusher on the outside, and you have to account for him. He's a pretty good open field tackler, better in the backfield than in down the field, but he was just all alone. You gotta have somebody on him. That's nine and a half sacks for Follett this season. 14-yard loss as Follett came in. And so far they've done that. Javid Best now. And Best with a seam. Gets past a man. Javid Best touchdown Golden Bears. 42 yards. Watch how he runs this. He is looking to get back here. He wants to run opposite of where Alex Mack starts that block. He cuts it back. He does this time and time again. And if you think anybody is going to catch job at best when he gets to the open, forget about it. NC State and Rutgers, you can make the argument ACC and Big East, two of the teams playing the best at the end of the year. Here goes best again. 
Cutting back against the grain after going to the outside. And another first down for Powell as Best tacks on 15 more yards. You're in a dilemma when you deal with Javid Best. He has so much speed he can get to the outside that you have to overrun plays. You see right there that's happening with Glenn Cook get outside. But when you overrun plays, he is so good at cutting back, he can find a lot of yards inside. Glad you're with us here. The 2008 Emerald Bowl, part of ESPN's presentation of Capital One Bowl Week. Joe Tessitore alongside Rod Gilmore and Quint Kesnick. Cal Bears out to a good start in front of their home fans here who have sold out AT&T Park, the beautiful ballpark by the bay. A sellout here at AT&T Park because the local team is in the game. Cal with a 14-7 lead here. In the Emerald Bowl. And now they got the speed burner. Javid Best, and here he goes with blockers out in front. Javid Best out to midfield, but when he turns it on, boy, oh boy, is he a challenge to take down. Anthony Reddick finally got to him, but 32 yards out of Best. California has had a number of great running backs. This guy is the fastest one they've ever had. Look how quickly he gets to the edge now. He is at the edge. They are outnumbered there, and that speed and how quickly he gets there creates a problem. You cannot duplicate that in practice, no matter how often and how many people you get out there. This guy is truly special. Shane Vereen comes out. Charming place. One of the best ballparks in Major League Baseball, AT&T Park. And to come here for a major college football game with two programs like this, there is a buzz in the city. This is a sellout ticket. The city of San Francisco and this ballpark are just as much a factor of the success of this bowl game as the two teams on the field. Well, it's a yeah, dynamic combination. Absolutely. And don't forget about the Giants and their involvement with that in providing the facility for this. And the six foot four string bean, Ja'Cory Harris, who has played with confidence here in this second quarter. Third and five. Harris with time over the middle, and it is intercepted. Mike Muhammad with a diving interception of the freshman Ja'Cory Harris. And that is the danger zone for a young quarterback over the middle. Can they see the linebackers? Can they see coverage? He does not see this man here. He doesn't see that man here. He doesn't see the zone pressure drop off there. Three guys, does he see them all? Apparently not. Muhammad comes right back around and picks off that pass. Muhammad. Extending himself, the sophomore, and it's Nate Longshore, hearing the Boo Birds here at AT&T Park, and now Cooper out of the backfield. He's wrapped up immediately by Sid Quan Thompson. As good a defensive back as you'll see in the college game coming up. First team All Pac tenor. So here are the first half stats and the rushing yards for Cal. And obviously Miami the time of possession balancing that out. Well the rushing yards for Miami is a problem that puts more pressure on Harris to have a big game and that may be too much. They're going to have to find a way to move the football either on the ground or with short passes to take a little bit of pressure. Javid Best getting back to work. Here goes Javid Best. Trying to keep his balance but he couldn't. To the 46 yard line. But a big burst again from Javid Best. He goes for 28 yards. Uh, it's that right side. We talked about it with the graphic. We showed you how he gets so much. And then he loves to cut back. Look at the great block he gets here. And how about Alex Mack over there? Clearing out a huge lane for him. Great blocking at the point of attack. And he was just a little bit away from breaking that one all the way. Yeah, they are struggling would be an understatement for the Cal passing attack. Right? Well, here's a test now for Longshore on third and ten. Has plenty of time. Gets it to Botang. And a first down by Nyan Botang. Transferred to Cal from Florida. Played there as a true freshman for the Gators. 
And he is a very fine athlete when they get him involved. Yeah, they use a crossing route here, clear out for him, and he just runs across the field. Longshore waits on him. Adds something that can get your confidence going. But they have to find a way to throw the ball. Otherwise, his offense will stop. So here's fourth and one. Right thing to do to go for it here. And the right guy to give it to Best to the edge. And John and Best fighting his way inside the 10 yard line. <laughs> Is he a treat to watch or what? Tack out another 25 yards to his total. Uh, he does a great job, but you know, to run outside, you have got to get a block on the edge. He gets a block on the edge and a seal, and that's all she wrote. If she, if, if you get the block on the edge, job at best will get you every single time. That was a great job on the edge. Great blocking by Tad Smith, who goes in about 6'5", 265. So now back to the 10-yard line. Best looking for that lead block, looking for the end zone, and he's just short. Inside the one yard line goes Javid Best. Now, Andy Tess, if you think his game is all about speed, you're mistaken. And Javid Best is a tough runner. I mean, watch him fight here at the end. He tries to finish this run. Yeah, he's got a hole. Now, watch him lower the shoulder, finish the run. He doesn't get knocked sideways, doesn't get knocked backwards. So in comes Giorgio Tavecchio from 23 yards out. And the lefty puts it through. So job at best with the conversion of the fourth down. Gets him down, knock it on the door. But on third down, Longshore stumbles back and they have to settle for three. But nonetheless, Cal takes the lead. 2008 Emerald Bowl, part of ESPN's presentation of Capital One Bowl Week at a sold out AT&T Park, home of the Major League Baseball San Francisco Giants, and a Cal team loaded with talent. And here's the most talented of them all, Javid Best breaking free again. The big night continues for Best, 29 yards on that run. Yeah, he got up slowly at the end of that run and is walking toward the sidelines, though. But we talked about his ability to run through tackles. He's got great acceleration. Arm tackling him really doesn't work because of his speed. And he blows through arm tackles. See him off on the sideline there as they are tending to him. So Shane Vereen comes in. Dot in the eye. Longshore hands off to Vereen. And he's got some speed, too. When he has been in the game and they commit to him, unstoppable. And now Shane Vereen getting his opportunity. Glad you're with us here at AT&T Park, home of baseball San Francisco Giants, reconfigured for this Emerald Bowl. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Rod Gilmore. Quinn Kessnick with us down on the sidelines. Miami. Well, second year coach Randy Shannon has him back in a bowl. Jeff Tedford, of course, the head coach for Cal. So much success over the course of the last seven years, but some saying, is this the start of Miami building themselves back up, or does Cal just have too much talent and this de facto home field advantage? So far, it's been a dandy. Here's Marine again. And now he catches a seam down the sidelines with Javi Best out of the game. Shane Vereen starting to shine. Now third and one. Vereen again, this time on the pitch. And he is marked short of the first down as the senior Glenn Cook, who leads the team in tackles, the team captain. And one of the real leaders of this very young defense comes up big. Well, you know, when you have a lead blocker out there like Tao Foa, you've got issue. But Miami handled it well. Cook doing a nice job. The speed of Miami's defense showing up. And as tempted as Tedford might have been to go for it on fourth down, this is the right call. you got to kick the field goal to go ahead with four and a half minutes in the ball game. Tackle by Cook sends Giorgio Tavecchio out to try to break this tie from 34. And it is 
is no good. The freshmen who join the team just three days before the season opener had a chance to make the kick of the year for him. And he came up short. Still tied in San Fran. Two high school state championships. An overtime game in his freshman season. And also a coming of age game against Duke in which he threw four touchdown passes to bring his team back. Now on third down. A little too much pressure. Ball is loose. Scooped up. And left out of bounds. Cameron Jordan picked it up. The pressure came off the edge. And Harris couldn't hold on as Zach Follett came crashing in and then Cameron Jordan came up with a big play for the Bears. Uh, it's Zach Follett making the play. And watch the left side of your screen. Watch him as he gets separation and beats his man and forces the play. A ball held a little bit too loosely by Harris, but Zach Follett made the play, and Rulon Davis comes up with it, but it's all about Zach Follett coming up with a big play for California. Zach Follett. He's got a 10 tackle, two sack, night work in here. He said, hey, this is my last go round, my last game. I don't care about my body. I'm laying it out there tonight. So the official review on the sack of Harris to see if he was down before the ball came loose. Looks like that is a fumble. It didn't look like his knee was down before the ball came out. Watch it from this angle. Looks like he gets stripped right here. Balls out before his knee touches down. I think that that play is going to be confirmed. Remember you need conclusive evidence to overturn the call on the field. You know these bowl game experiences are very unique because yesterday I was sitting at a at the lunch. After review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. It's a fumble. California ball. First down. You know he said he was going to hop on board the pain train, and that's a painful look on Miami fans. Mostly turnover. And this goal line situation too. Here's second and goal now. Long short of pass. Touchdown, Cal. Best was best, but then when they wanted it, they went to Longshore, and he went to Anthony Miller. For the score. But keep your eye on number five, Mora, and where is he throwing the ball? It looks like he was trying to go to Mora, or Mora got in the way of it, but instead he gets it to Anthony Miller, you know, the freshman from San Jose, for the touchdown. And he is a freshman who they use in the goal line packages. A lot of receivers in that area. I thought he was looking at Mora. And Savecchio. Moments ago, he missed the field goal. That could have given them the lead, but the defense stepped up. Zach Pollitt with the sack, the forced fumble. Cameron Jordan sco scooped it up, and then Miller scores it here. Yeah, he's situated right here. He's going to make his way to the back of the end zone right there, and you're going to have Mora come this way. I think Longshore sees Miller and the, in the back of the end zone. He's got two guys there. I think he spots him right here. But Mora's right there as well. Mora almost catches that ball or almost deflects it before it gets to Miller because they had so many guys in the same area. But I think Longshore saw Miller along the back line. Too long. Running now. Too long. Harris taking a lot of time. He is pressured. Going to run it himself. Stays in bounds as he was starting to lose control of the ball. Secured it for five yards. Miami only with a timeout left. Remember, they called two timeouts in the third quarter. And that's a young mistake. You need to throw that football away. It's not worth it to pick up four or five yards running the ball. You're better off throwing the ball away and stopping the clock. Now they're burning through all this time, and they have one timeout. They're making this tougher than it needs to be. What a favor they're doing for Cal. Harris. 
Now he just airs it out. But only 12 seconds left in the game. They burned about 35, 40 seconds there to get six yards on a rushing play. You just have to be better in your two minute offense. Uh, Randy Shannon would like to have some of that time back that they lost on this drive. Harris. And he goes down, laterals it. And Cooper still on his feet before he is tackled and pushed by Mike Muhammad. There out of bounds. As Cal celebrates the Bay Area team in their backyard. A sold out AT&T Park with most of the fans wearing that blue and gold on a night when Javid Best was a star again. The Capital One player of the game going for a buck 86 and a couple of scores. He's as good as advertised and I still believe he is the most explosive running back in college football. Only a sophomore. He's got he's in line to have a big season next year and California is in line to be a pretty good team next season as well. Head down to the field. Job at best. What a night for him as well as Alex Mack. The academic All-American opening up those holes 186 yards and a couple of scores and he is definitely a player to watch next year in college football. Our final score from the Emerald Bowl Cal 24 to 17 in an entertaining game for more on this game you can tune in to ESPN News Rod and I will have a post game extra coming up next year on ESPN at Sports Center for Rod Gilmore Quint Kesnick and our entire crew I'm Joe Tessitore thanks for watching Cal a winner here in San Fran.